In this video, I will teach you how to change the sky in DaVinci Resolve in the easiest way. Without using Fusion, we will do everything in the color panel. The first step is to add a new serial node. In this new node, we have to add a layer node. And now with this node here, we will change the sky. In the node above, we will control the grass area and church. Now we are going to eliminate the existing sky. We go to the qualifier and select the qualifier 3D. Click on this icon. We make sure that we have activated the selector. In this tab, we have to have qualifier activated. Now we can activate the magic wand, which will show us only the part that we select from our video. In this case, we select the entire sky. We pass the qualifier all over our sky. In case you select it and gray parts appear in your sky, you can activate the add qualifier icon and click on all the gray parts to add them. Now add some pre-filter, just a little bit, and clean black to remove the black edges from the selection. And the same in clean white if you have some white edges. Once we have all the selected sky, we can import our new sky that we want to add. I will try this one. We drag our video or photo of the new sky to the nodes. Now we have to connect the node with the new sky, but we cannot. We need a new green input to achieve this we have to add an effect. In this case, we look for the match move effect and drag it to this node. With an effect applied to the node, we can activate adding OFX input. As you can see, a new input has been created. We have to deactivate the use of Alpha OFX. This is not necessary for us. Now we can connect the node with the new sky. Click on this node and go to the effect of match move. Select compositing, and this will show us the new sky. Deactivate it and active so that you can see the change. Now we have to fix several things. We go to the effect match move and there we click on positioning. With this you can adjust the position and proportions of the sky. Now I want to show you a mistake that many people make. When you put the sky, the movement of the sky does not follow our original video. I show you another example where you can better appreciate. How you see, the sky is fixed in the background and does not follow the movement of the video. This is wrong. To fix it, we go to the effect match move and select tracking. In output we select composite. Now we have to select one or more tracking points place. Them in places as far away as possible, areas of the background. In this shot, I think the best place are the trees in the background. Put the video at the beginning since we have to track the movement of the entire video. Once we place the tracking point, we go to tracking controls. And click on this icon to start tracking. Once you finish tracking, the sky will follow the same movement as our original video. Remember that you have the layer of the sky and the earth in two different nodes. You can change them individually so that they are as similar as possible. That is, you cannot have the earth of a warm color and the blue sky. The lighting does not match. But just the color and lighting of heaven and earth to be equal. Finally, if this sky doesn't convince you, and you want another one, it's easy. Just drag a photo or video of another sky. Delete the old one and connect the new one. We can do something more or less like this. These are some examples of what you can do. Try playing and trying new things with your video.